<laughs> yep. Betsy's going to hold me to this. He now. said he was going to jump rope on a high wire. What I said was I'd give it a shot as long as there's a safety net. <laughs> he said he was going to jump rope on a high wire. Come October. And by high Maybe wire, I mean 10 happen. feet off the ground with a net that would catch me and keep me from getting injured. Well, the good news, Stephanie's here for clicking in Cleveland. Yes, and she is. She may know some people who can help us make this happen. <laughs> That's right. I think I got an email or two in my inbox. Okay, <laughs> give it a shot. <laughs> because it is official, the circus is coming to town, but it is going to look a lot different than you might remember from your childhood. Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey are bringing their 2023 North American tour to Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland. It will have six shows from October 6th through 8th. But one thing that will not be returning with the circus is the animals. Now that change was first announced last May when Ringling Brothers revealed plans to create this new experience. So in this completely reimagined show, you can expect musical performances, aerial artistry, modern comedy, high wire, trapeze, there it is, There's bicycles, me. and more with the cast of 75 performers from more than 18 countries. So we have the link to get tickets on WKYC.com. I'm just going to rush and send an email when I get out of here. All right, now the website Niche released their 2023 rankings on Monday for the best places to live in Ohio, and two cities from Northeast Ohio came out on top. Number one and number two, respectively, are Shaker Heights and Pepper Pike. They scored high ranks in grades along a long list of factors. And with its population of more than 29,000, Shaker got its best grade in Good for Families, with grades in diversity and public schools at an A. Now, Pepper Pike and its almost 7,000 people got A pluses in both Good for Families and public schools. This is the ninth year that Niche has provided these rankings, and you can get a full breakdown of the list with report cards and more rankings linked on WKYC.com. All right, now for our question of the day. With the Cleveland Guardians home opener officially sold out, we want to know which Guardians player are you most excited to see play this season and why? So our first response comes from John Fadenholtz and says he wants to see a healthy Josh Naylor that's going to crush the ball. Hitting was a big theme. Now, Karen McDonough is holding the cards close to the vest. She doesn't want to say, she says, because she feels like if it's a fan favorite, there's a good <laughs> chance they'll get traded. We've seen that before. There's always that risk. Uh, Lori Saluga says her granddaughter loves Oscar Gonzalez. She thinks his SpongeBob walk-up music is the bomb. Hopefully he keeps that. And Jose Ramirez is her current favorite. And here's where we get into the Jose Ramirez love. Because Andy Meese says it's refreshing to see a superstar like Jose, that it's not about the money. And he wanted to call Cleveland home for his entire career. And he says that's been hard to come by over the years. Sam Kirksey agrees and says very excited to see Jose Ramirez play this season because he's one of the best home run batters in all of Major League Baseball, according to him. And Lori Huffman says, yes, Jose, but also Ahmed Rosario, that they are the leaders for sure. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing, Jay and Bessie, that people kept saying throughout this was there's no I in team. Very excited to see the whole team play. Very excited to see big bats. People want to see big bats. I like right. Oscar Gonzalez because him and Oscar share a first name. Oscar oh, that's Wilde, right. Yeah. My dog. Uh, uh, folks love the SpongeBob walk up song. Um, so far, Shane Bieber has been lights out in spring training. So, low key, one of the favorites to win the Cy Young. Mm -hmm. He's, he, he's okay. had an amazing start to the year so far. He's such a good guy, too. Terrific. All right, yeah. Stephanie, thank you so much. You're welcome.